Welcome to CTC TV. I'm Bruce Fassbinder, and joining me is co-anchor Tina Magruder. Thanks, Bruce. This month, we'll take a look back at the Red Ribbon Week activities and tour the MLT and industrial tech programs. We'll also see how CTC celebrated Halloween and congratulate cadets in our police academy. All this and more on CTC TV. Wherever you are in the world, Central Texas College can turn your potential into success. Our students are active duty military and veterans. They're looking to move up in the ranks and into the workforce, overseas and stateside. CTC awards credit for military service and offers classes online and on military installations. Start your new mission at Central Texas College for students of the real world. Members of the Central Texas College and Colleen Independent School District Boards of Trustees met recently to discuss plans for a new Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math or STEM-focused dual credit program for high school students. During a special joint session held at Roy J. Smith Middle School, members of both boards discussed expanding the current KISD Middle School STEM Academy. The proposed collaborative program would allow KISD high school students to spend part of their school day taking classes in a middle college high school structure. The format calls for 9th and 10th graders to remain at their home campus and then transition to a dual campus schedule when they become juniors and seniors. The proposed first year plan tentatively calls for 250 KISD students to attend a morning session taking CTC courses with other CTC students and another 250 students assigned to an afternoon session of CTC courses. Students can choose from 12 different programs of study and choose one of three plan options, each earning different levels of college hours. Students choosing the first option can earn 30 credit hours of college study. A second option designed for career technology education students grants 55 hours of college credit, while the third option allows students to earn 63 to 75 college credit hours for an Associate of Applied Science degree. It is estimated students participating in the newly proposed STEM Academy could earn a four-year college degree for approximately $11,000. As members of both boards of trustees sign the Memorandum of Understanding for the new program, both CTC and KISD board members will next vote on the proposal at a meeting later this month. During the last week of October, CTC asked students and employees to take the pledge to be drug-free as a college celebrated Red Ribbon Week. The week was dedicated to reminding students of the dangers of drug and alcohol use. Several campus events and awareness activities were conducted by the CTC Student Employee Assistance Program, including information tables and many workshops regarding the dangers of chemical dependency, the ill effects of alcohol, prescription drug abuse, and the dangers of other illegal narcotics. An opening ceremony kicked off the week and featured guest speaker Nancy Pratt of Mothers Against Drunk Driving, who told a heart-wrenching story of losing her daughter to a drunk driver. Representatives from the Fort Hood Army Substance Abuse Program, Cedar Crest Hospital, the CTC Substance Abuse Resource Center, and CTC Campus Police also addressed the audience. Throughout the week, students participated in a variety of hands-on activities and demonstrations to further emphasize the safety message. CTC Campus Police offered mock field sobriety tests, challenging students to maneuver a pedaled vehicle through a series of traffic cones or walk a straight line wearing impairment goggles. Also, a distracted driving simulator was provided by the Texas RED program, which allowed students to drive using the aid of a computer which simulated impaired driving. Students interested in learning more about alcohol and drug prevention or those needing assistance can contact the CTC Student and Employee Assistance Program at 254-526-1166. The CTC Aviation Science Flight Team took to the skies in the Region 4 Intercollegiate Flight Association Safety and Flight Evaluation Conference, otherwise known as SAFECON, which was held the last week of October. CTC finished in the flights third in the flights event and fourth in the ground events for an overall third place finish behind Letourneau University of Longview, Texas and Delta State University of Mississippi. In the top pilot competition, CTC's Brandon O'Neill finished third. CTC pilots Trevor Baldwin and Ryan Collins finished ninth and tenth respectively. 
O'Neill also finished as the third top scoring pilot in the competition. CTC now qualifies for the National SafeCon event to be held April 30th through May 5th, 2018 in Indiana. The Central Texas College Police Academy held a graduation ceremony for 10 cadets who recently completed the basic peace officer course. All graduates passed the state licensing exam prior to graduation with an average score of 87% and are now eligible to become peace officers in Texas. During the ceremony, several awards were presented. Stacy McClinton of the Bell County Sheriff's Department earned the Academic Honors Graduate Award with a grade average of 98.9%. Betty Davenport was recognized as class president. The Charles Chuck Dinwiddie Top Gun Award for Best Firearms Performance was presented to Curtis Elliott of the Williamson County Sheriff's Office, who scored 98.8%. The Best Instructor Award, as voted on by the cadets, was presented to Bobby Castillo of the Killeen Police Department. The Basic Peace Officer course was initially only open to cadets affiliated with a law enforcement agency. In 2016, the class was open to anyone interested in becoming a peace officer, but not sponsored by a law enforcement agency. Since the change, 15 self-sponsored cadets have completed the course. Throughout the 19-week, 720-hour course, cadets were subjected to classroom work numerous written exams and extensive hands-on training in defensive tactics, firearms, and police vehicle operation. In addition to the basic peace officer course, the CTC Police Academy also offers an extended peace officer course for non-sponsored individuals interested in becoming a peace officer. The next course runs five eight-week semesters from January through October 2018. Applications for the course are now being accepted through December 30th. The next Police Academy graduation will be Saturday, December 2nd in the Anderson Campus Center as 24 cadets are scheduled to complete the extended Peace Officer course. Central Texas College welcomed State Senator Don Buckingham of District 24 of the Texas Senate to its central campus last month. During her visit, Senator Buckingham met with CTC Chancellor Jim Yiannopoulos for a briefing on CTC's educational offerings leading to employment for students. Also discussed was CTC and Fort Hood's initiative to develop new programs directed to transitioning soldiers and veterans like the new Military Articulation Paramedic Program, enabling military and Department of Defense first responders to earn college credit and articulate from their current EMT certification and prior military work and training as a 68W to a paramedic in two semesters and an internship instead of the traditional four semesters. Following the sit-down meeting with the Chancellor, Senator Buckingham was then given a tour of the CTC Nursing and Allied Health Facility Simulation Labs. The purpose was to provide an update on the in-demand health science careers, such as nursing, and also view the lab site where the paramedic and artic articulation program is being held. CTC instructors Robert O'Dell and Julie Jordan displayed the state-of-the-art mannequins, lab equipment, and other training tools used to provide nursing and emergency medical technician students the most up-to-date training and hands-on learning. You know, it, it's great being a senator and having such a great district to represent. So we're here at Central Texas College today learning more about all the incredible programs they have and the great things they're doing. The nursing program and the EMT program, we just toured the facilities. It's really amazing, so I'd encourage everybody to come out and get get their degrees from Central Texas College, but um, they're really doing a lot of innovative, creative things. I think they're really producing excellent clinicians, starting um, to really have them make good habits early. They're gonna work well later. So we're just glad to be here today and, and impressed with what they're doing. Students and teachers in the Medical Lab Technology Department offered demonstrations and presentations on histology, medical laboratory science, and phlebotomy during the MLT open house in the CTC Science Center. Components of each field were featured through poster presentations, verbal explanations, and hands-on demonstrations. All three areas are in-demand, high-paying career options with an average starting salary of $26 to $35 an hour. According to the Texas Workforce, there will be an estimated 29.6% increase and MLT jobs between now and 2022. CTC opened the histology program in fall 2016 semester to help meet the growing demand 
for histologic technicians in the medical field. It is the only histology program in the area and can lead to an Associate of Applied Science degree. Students completing this program or the phlebotomy or medical lab technician programs are quick to find employment with area hospitals, clinics, and other healthcare facilities. The CTC Career and Technical Education Center was the site of the Industrial Technology Open House. Instructors offered guided tours of its welding, automotive repair, graphics and printing, heating and air conditioning maintenance, building trades, and diesel engine maintenance labs. Guests participated in several hands-on activities and met with counselors to discuss each program of interest. The vocational skills acquired through these programs can lead to a certificate of completion or an associate in applied science degree, as well as a variety of job opportunities. Each program offers an internship option to provide real-world experience. Anyone interested in learning more about the Medical Lab Technology Program can call CTC at 254-526-1288, and those interested in industrial technology can call 254-526-1235. Halloween festivities were the talk of the campus the last week of October as CTC held its annual Haunted House and Fall Carnival at the Mayborn Science Theater. The Haunted House was constructed outside by campus clubs and organizations while the carnival games, activities, and food vendors were inside the building. A hayride around campus and Halloween-themed laser light shows inside the dome of the Mayborn Science Theater were also part of the event. The Haunted House Fall Carnival is a major fundraiser for the campus organizations to support community service projects. In addition, 10% of all proceeds were donated to the CTC Foundation Scholarship Program. In other Halloween-related news, the Student Life Department hosted the fourth annual Student Costume Contest and Pumpkin Carving Contest. Prizes were awarded for the scariest, most creative, and best overall costumes and pumpkins. Earning best overall costume honors was Jeff Jackson for his portrayal of the Mad Hatter. The scariest costume was won by Darius Armstead who dressed up as a psych patient. There was a tie for the most creative costume between Valerie Hernandez with her Katrina Calavera outfit and Seth Krologa who passed as a ringmaster of the horror carnival. The staff of the Ovita Culp Hobby Memorial Library held two Halloween events. First was Campfire Tales, which was a telling of ghost stories, and then a literary costume contest in which participants were to dress up as their favorite character in horror, comics, or books and literature. The horror category was won by Ashley Fennell as the guide. Amber Reed won the comics category, posed as Scorpion for Mortal Kombat, and Jeff Jackson went two for two winning the book's literature category as the Mad Hatter. Photo albums of all contestants in each costume contest can be found on CTC's Facebook page. Registration for spring 2018 semester classes at Central Texas College is now open on WebAdvisor. Returning students and new students who have completed the admissions and advising process and have a degree plan on file may now register using the CTC WebAdvisor system on the school's website. Academic advisement for new students and current students looking to change their degree plan is also underway now in the Guidance and Counseling Office located at Student Services of Building 119. The office is open Monday through Thursday, 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Once new students have completed advisement, they can register online through WebAdvisor. Registration for the Fort Hood Campus Fall Mini Term is also open. Classes run December 18th through January 5th. Registration is available at Building 3201, located at 72nd Street and 761st Tank Battalion Avenue. The office is open 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. Military personnel using Go Army Ed have until December 17th to register, while civilians and dependents have until December 19th. For more information about Fort Hood classes, call 254-526-1906. The CTC service area sites of Lampasas, Fredericksburg, Gatesville, and Marble Falls is also conducting registration for the spring semester now through January 15th at their respective sites. Classes for CTC's evening and weekend college program is open now through January 18th online or at the campus library. Students wishing to take distance learning or online classes in December can register now as well. 
A three-week class session begins December 4th, and eight, 12, and 16-week sessions begin December 11th. CTC will host its first ever fall semester graduation ceremony on Friday, December 8th. The event is scheduled to start at 6.30 p.m. at the Bell County Expo Center in Belton. More than 200 students are expected to cross the stage and receive their associate degree or certificate of completion. Central Texas College alerts the public to a possible phone scam in which callers are fraudulently representing themselves as members of the CTC Campus Police Department. CTC was recently notified by residents receiving calls from someone soliciting donations for the CTC Police. While Campus Police are not conducting any fundraisers and are not soliciting for donations of any kind, nor has CTC Police contracted anyone to conduct any fundraising activity on behalf of the Police Department. CTC Campus Police strongly advise those who receive such calls to ignore such requests and not divulge any confidential information such as credit card numbers, bank account numbers, or other personal information. This month, the CTC speech team competed in the 57th annual Sooner Showdown at the University of Oklahoma. 53 teams, including 21 community colleges, participated in the event. CTC placed second overall just two points behind the current community college national champions, Glendale College of Phoenix, Arizona. Individually, team members earn 15 awards and four national qualifications. In Lincoln Douglas debate, Weaver placed third. She was also the second place speaker overall in a pool of 40 competitors. Mike Smith, a freshman, finished fourth in Lincoln Douglas debate. In parliamentary debate, CTC had four students advance to elimination rounds in a pool of more than 100 competitors. Deja Higgins, Joseph Barr, and Robert Borntrager advanced to the Sweet 16 round. Jeff Jackson beat the University of California Long Beach competitor to advance to the Elite Eight where he was defeated by the Southern Methodist University. In speech events, Higgins led the team with a fifth place finish in Persuasion fifth in duo interpretation, and fourth in poetry. Shay Connolly, freshman, also advanced to finals, taking sixth place in informative speaking. The Communications Department hosted its third annual speaker showcase this month in the campus library. The event gave students in public speaking classes the chance to compete for prizes and display their skills using various speaking formats like demonstrative, informative, and persuasive speeches. Eight students made it to the final round, including two students in the early college high school. One of these students, Madison Castillo, earned first place honors for her informative speech, How to Deal with Difficult People. Second place went to Shay Conley for her informative speech, Beauty is a Pain. Devin Carter captured third place for his demonstrative speech, How Airplanes Fly. Also competing and receiving honorable mention certificates were early college high school student, Madeline Spear, for an informative speech entitled, The Power of One. Austin Guyona, who gave a persuasive speech on Alzheimer's and other mental diseases called The Preventable, Manos Katka for a persuasive speech called Distancing Estrangement, Tatiana Clemens for her persuasive speech Why Sex is So Important in a Relationship, and Robin Foxworth for her informative speech Doulas Make a Difference. The speaker showcase was coordinated by CTC speech professor Bethany Winkler. The public is invited to hear the award-winning CTC speech and debate team during the second annual holiday showcase on Wednesday, November 29th in the campus library. The showcase is from 5 to 6 p.m. and features team members performing a variety of public speaking formats, including extemporaneous speaking, prose, and poetry interpretation. The team will then travel to the University of Houston for the state championships on December 1st. The final Patio Cafe Cuisine Nights dining experience of the fall semester is Friday, December 8th and features a mid-Atlantic cuisine. Students in the Culinary Arts American Region cooking class will prepare and serve the dinner from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in the Student Center, Building 106. The menu will be available on the CTC website the week of the dinner. Reservations are required and can be made by calling the CTC Hospitality Department at 254-526-1515. Fine Arts will present its Fall Student Music Showcase on Monday, November 27th at 7.30 p.m in the Anderson Campus Center. The concert will feature the CTC band, directed by Bradley Bullock, and the CTC chorus, led by David Thomas. Individual performances by students studying guitar, 
woodwinds, brass, piano, and voice will also be spotlighted. Admission is $5 at the door and children under the age of 12 are free. Proceeds will benefit the CTC Concert Series Music Scholarship Fund. The intramural sports faction of the kinesiology department will host several events in December. First is a three-on-three -three basketball tournament on Friday, December 1st at the CTC gym. Play starts at 9.30 a.m. and sign up is underway now at the gym. The event is open to students and employees only. The following Friday, December 8th, is the fall semester Eagle Trot 5K Run and Walk. Participants can register now through December 7th at the gym. The race starts promptly at 9 a.m. The Eagle Trot is open to students, employees, and the public. Central Texas College will serve as a drop-off location for shoes during the 10th annual Communities in Schools Shoe Drive. Each year, CIS tries to make a few Christmas wishes come true for kids in need of shoes. CIS is accepting donations of new or gently worn shoes now through December 15th for toddler to adult sizes for high school, middle school, and elementary school children registered in the CIS program. CIS serves more than 5,500 kids in the Clean, Coppers Cove, Temple, Belton, Salado, and Florence school districts. While many kids hope Santa will bring them the newest toy or latest technology gadget for Christmas, a lot of CIS kids just want a pair of shoes that fit properly and is not worn out. Many of them do not have the proper shoes to participate in school events or PE classes, let alone a decent pair for everyday wear. The CTC drop-off location is in the student lounge of the Student Center of Building 106. Other drop-off locations include Schlotzky's Sandwich Restaurants in Colleen, Harker Heights, Coppers Cove, Belton and Temple, all Union State Bank locations in Colleen, Harker Heights, Florence and Georgetown, the Salado ISD Administrative Office, all First National Bank locations in Colleen, Harker Heights and Coppers Cove, and the Communities and Schools Office located in Colleen at 4520 East Central Texas Expressway, Suite 106. In addition to shoe donations, CIS will accept monetary donations to purchase shoes for those kids whose shoe size was not met with the shoe collection. Monetary donations can be delivered to the CIS office. As a local nonprofit organization, CIS is dedicated to impacting the lives of children in a positive way, helping them achieve the success they often find unattainable. CIS provides assistance to help young people stay in school, improve academically, improve attendance, improve behavior, and graduate. Since 2006, CIS has case managed more than 70,000 students deemed at risk or in social or economic need. Anyone needing a little extra help preparing for final exams or completing end of semester projects can get the assistance they need during the annual Student Success and Persistence Study Up. On Wednesday, December 6th, during the day, students can receive free tutoring for final exams and other mentoring to help them complete their semester projects. The Study Up will be held in the Academic Studio located upstairs in the Student Center from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Students are encouraged, encouraged to bring their course-related materials and snacks for a day of studying. Before we close, here are some upcoming events of interest.
Thanks for tuning in. On behalf of Tina Magruder, I'm Bruce Fassbinder. Join us again next month for more campus news and events on CTC-TV.